Libra, you are up for the May Money Energy Reading. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Podcast carried everywhere. As for this reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I said all that, we're going to get into the reading. I have an oracle deck and I have a tarot deck. So, one thing that I'm getting is that holding on to stuff is blocking your money. Is what's happening. Where certain things in the past, if you let them go, that will free up room for more stuff to come into your life that is actually positive stuff. And I'm going to break down all this for you why I'm saying this. Now, let's start with the first card from the Oracle deck that came out. It is Declutter. I need my light. Hold on. It says, you'll feel better and more focused If you'll take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace, donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. So with the declutter card, for me, it isn't just that. It's everything. Where if past incidents are taking up space in your mind, And that's taking that bandwidth away. Your mind can't focus on other things or your mind can't think up new ideas because it's hard thinking up new ideas when you're focused on other things that no longer serve you. I know you're wondering, like, how do you know that I'm holding on to stuff and everything else? Because at the bottom of the deck is the four pinnacles, which is holding on. In this specific case, if you notice, it says holding on Tight Avenue. This is my Monopoly deck. Before Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Earth Energy. I don't know what it is you're holding on. It's something in the 3D. Because Pentacles deal with the 3D. So it's anything related to the 3D. It can be money, as in you're holding on to your finances too tightly. It can be family, you're holding on to your relatives too tightly. It can be something at the job you're holding on too tightly to. It can be... um, a a material item you're holding on to tightly to, whatever it is, pick your poison. There's something where you're holding on and that bandwidth of holding on is keeping you from having the energy to dedicate to something else that would bring in more prosperity for you. You would know better than me. This is your story, not mine. So yeah, let's get into the second card that came out, the second Oracle card that came out. Windfall of abundance. And it says, an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Now, this be open to receiving for the windfall of abundance. It's kind of hard to receive something and have your hand open to receive something if it's closed and holding on to something else. It's almost like if somebody is throwing you a basketball but you're holding on to some rope or, or something else. How can you catch the basketball? That That's what I'm talking about. As in, with the decluttering, start removing the stuff that doesn't serve you, whether it's mentally or whether it's physically. And now, here... With the two of pentacles. This is the balancing act way. Meaning you're in between places. Some of you might be doing two different lives. Like you're doing one thing and you're doing another. And that's possible at the same time. You have to weigh the benefit versus the cost. What does it cost for you to balance between these two things? If it costs more than it should. Or is costing you more than it should you may want to consider doing something different. Now, some of you could be dealing with travel. The chariot card is out. This is a travel card. It's also a victory card. It's also a determination card. This is cancer energy, specifically. Some of you can have cancer in your chart or you could be dealing with the cancer. And then, following the chariot is the devil card. Maybe some of you have an obsession about your car. Maybe some of you are obsessed with traveling 
or, or something else because the devil can be many things. It is Capricorn energy. Capricorn deals with Saturn because Saturn is the ruling planet of the Capricorn. Saturn is about shadow. It's also about karma. It is about discipline and structure as well. With the devil card, it can be an obsession of those things. Where you're obsessed with your car, you're obsessed with structure, you're obsessed with discipline. It can also be negative self-talk too. Is there something that you're obsessed with? Are you obsessed with another sign or another person? Are you obsessed with having a victory? Because don't forget, this is a victory card. Maybe you're obsessed with winning. If that's the case, it wouldn't surprise me if the Five of Swords were to come out if I kept on, you know, um, working with the tarot deck. Keep your obsessions in check because if you're holding on to obsessions, that is keeping you from grabbing on to the things that bring in prosperity, that windfall of abundance. Now, the fourth card, there's a lot of major arcanas here. Out of these six cards, four of them are major arcanas. So this is a lot of major stuff here. Empress is here. I feel like there's something connected to family balancing your balancing your family life and another life. The reason I'm saying families here is because in the pre-shuffle, the emperor did come out. And with the empress, it's like a divine match. Where an empress is um, Libra, Taurus, and Cancer energy. So keep that in mind. Emperor is Aries and Capricorn energy. But... With the Empress here, this can be about new ideas, giving birth to new ideas. It can also be about motherhood as well and pregnancy too. Maybe you're finding out in May that there's another baby on the way. I'm not fully there yet because I don't see any pages on the board and I don't see the sun. If there were pages on here in the sun, then I would lean more towards pregnancy. But this one is more of is something involving a family or a couple is what this could be involving. The card to follow is temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. Temperance is about balancing things out. It's about mixing things together and making sure it levels out just right. That's what I feel some of you are doing, where or you will be doing, where you were obsessing about something or you were holding on to something. You're realizing, you know what? That's blocking my blessings. That's blocking my opportunities. Let me focus on my family. Let me focus on me and, and move forward. And that is temperance energy. Let me heal something here. There may be something that needs to be healed, possibly because of something that you were holding on to. It created issues in other areas of your life. And now you're realizing that and with the temperance energy, that means that you're ready to heal it. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. And you know what? There is a page on here. I don't know why I was thinking a knight. This is a page. So there's a page on the table. Might be leaning more towards pregnancy now. <laughs> but with the page of swords, page of swords is about information. It's about gathering information. Also, it can be about spying too. Where somebody could be spying on you or you could be spying on them. But what I believe is that I, the word acceptance is on my mind. Like accepting, let me turn off my, oh, it is off, good. Like accepting the information as it is. Like you have information now and you're accepting it as it is. Meaning it may not be the information that you want to hear, but now that you've heard it, or now that it's been revealed to you because it may be revealed during uh, Mercury retrograde or during the full moon on uh, the lunar eclipse on May the 5th, which is in Scorpio. Whenever this is revealed, if it hasn't been revealed yet, I feel you will be at peace in a way, again, not where you're thrilled about what you find out, but at the same time, it's like, okay, I accept it. It is what it is. Let me focus on other things. It is kind of that vibe. It is what I'm getting. All right. So Libra, that is your message. Until next time, be blessed.